Good day, everybody. Mike Flores here, your Las Cruces realtor and new home expert. Thank you so much for joining us on another beautiful tour in right now, rainy Las Cruces. We're in a community called Rincon Hills off of the exit called Rinconada. Very close to shopping, very close to Walmart. In fact, we're only about three or four minutes. We are at 4005 Boardwalk, which is a really cool place. This home has four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, a three car garage, and you couldn't tell, but this home has a walkout basement with views of not only their three and a half acre park, but all of the Robledo Mountains. I can't wait to get started. Being two-tone gravel, this gorgeous rock, this, this is really nice, a good way to separate your gravel. This is a rock arroyo with big boulders. You got several bushes here, you got yourself a tree, and everything's on a drip system. Now the outside style of this, it really is a Tuscan. It's got your pitch roof, it's got a couple of different levels here. You got stacked rock from the bottom. You got your 16 foot garage door here with the keypad. Now keypads are really nice. If you ever wanna go for a walk, you don't wanna take your keys. Very good place. I love the actual, the coach lights they have. In fact, they have a really nice patio that we're gonna look at in a minute, but three coach lights right in the front. Nice contrasting pop-outs, wood soffits all the way around. Take a look at this patio. Now, a lot of homes don't have front patios, and if they do, it's just an entry to the door. It's a really great place for a bench, maybe some plants and, and vases. Very good place. You got these really nice rustic lights up here. It, you know, you have this really cool soffits. Look at this, these are stucco soffits and they're really nice transitional pieces from one side of the ceiling to the other. And you have these really nice pop-outs. When I say pop-outs, I mean these here. And I like how they actually paint them a good contrasted color to the base color or the body color. And then this white grayish stone, very, very nice. Look at this high window up here. So this window here will bring in that really nice natural light to your foyer. Can't wait to get started on this home. This is a gorgeous home. Look at this door, one, two, three, four, five, reset, like actual pop-out panels. Walking right in, you got this really nice chandelier. And that's a satin nickel chandelier. Now, as I was turning on the lights of this home, I realized that everything in here is satin nickel and a lot of quartz in here as well. Now, you do have a coat closet coming right in. And you would think that this Home being 2,425 square feet, it's like, wow, you know, it doesn't look that big, but wait till you see the bottom level on this thing. I mean, this home is huge. Nice coat closet with upper racks. You got pendant lights, gourmet kitchen with built-in appliances. Really nice stainless steel farm sink with the apron, satin nickel faucets. Now these folks usually use Delta or Moen. Delta and Moen always have that lifetime warranty. I love seeing that. Five burner, 36 inch cooktop, extractor vent fan, and then a really nice mosaic backsplash with a combination of tile and glass. Really love this. Painted gray cabinetry with soft clothes. You got these really nice hardware pieces on both the drawers and the doors. Very nice. Stainless steel appliances. This is a frigid air dishwasher. You got three centimeter thick quartz, drawer stacks, built-in appliances here, Frigidaire microwave and oven, and then check a look at this. Wow, this is really cool. So you have upper cabinetry here, lower cabinetry with quartz, backsplash, plug-ins, all the hardware, it matches the kitchen. And then you wouldn't know, but this actually has a walk-in pantry over here. And I like that because it doesn't need a door because it's kind of hidden in a snail entrance from the actual kitchen. Lots of shelving. You got a couple of accent windows over here to give you that natural light. In case you don't want to turn on any lights, you can still see really well. Staggered lay. This is a random stagger wood look tile floor. And the top level has this, this is really well done. You got a four inch floor trim three fixed windows and then a glass door. And I love that the glass door has these built-in, I've been seeing a lot of this lately. This is a really good design. I love this because you can always just get some privacy. You got this fixed French door. Now a fixed French door means that it looks like a French door, but you actually have one of the doors that's, that's there permanently, but it gives you the look. Actually, no, look at this. Actually, it does open. I'm not gonna mess with that. This home just finished and I don't wanna mess with it too much. But we'll go into this front patio. Look at this, top level patio. Three and a half acre park, 
pickleball courts, gazebos, slides, lots of grass, lots of trails. There's over a hundred trees here and like right now the trees are actually a little bit dormant so you don't get a lot of foliage, a lot of leaves whenever it's cool out here. And this is winter folks, we're actually in January and you can't see my breath, I'm not freezing. It is a little chilly but I'd say probably about 55, 56 degrees. Now synthetic wood planking all the way around, wrought iron railing all the way around in case you have kids. This is beautiful. Now if you look at those mountains over there, those are called the Robledo Mountains. Those are very, very nice all the way across there. You can even see mountains as far as Deming and uh, those are called the Floridas way back in there and then you can see Picacho Peak right over there as well and that's where Picacho is located on the west side of town. We're actually on the East Mesa and then over here you have a really nice view of the Donianas. You know, having a cup of coffee, cup of hot cocoa, warm tea, coming out and having a view like this, maybe hearing some kids play, really sets a, it's just a peaceful setting. Really nice lights, I love this. You have a really, I, I like how they actually textured the bottom of the ceiling as well. They hand troweled it so it looks really good. I like this home a lot. Now for those of you asking for a price, this one's priced at 482 for 2400 square feet. That's a pretty solid deal. Now, great room, you got a place to put your TV, you got your recessed double tier tray with four lights and, the, and a fan. I mean, you get a scale of how big this great room is. I mean, it's huge. So you got plenty of space. And of course, from any part of this up here, you see all the mountains in the park. Now, this community is only about three and a half years old. It's a strictly KT community. KT's been a, a, one of the oldest builders. Actually, they are the oldest builder in Las Cruces. You can add all the other builders and combine them, and KT has still been here longer than all of them. <laughs> Great family, good people. Good people build good homes. Now, I usually don't start with the master suite, but because the master suite is on the main level, downstairs there's three more bedrooms and one bathroom and some other, another living room and some other stuff, but we'll go ahead and look at the master suite this time and make an exception. Now, I would say this is at least a 12 by 15, so definitely a lot of space for furniture, big bed, king size bed easily. I, I like that they put a barn door there with a satin nickel finishing and railing, very large window that opens for the master so you can take advantage of that really nice fresh air. <clears throat> and look at this closet. So nice big closet. Short hang, short hang, longer hang, short hang, short hang, cubbies, storage. Really nice, rounded corners. Now in here, because of like the shading, you can actually see the hand troweling, and they did a light hand trowel on this. You can actually see this. This is beautiful work, and then you have this rounded corners, and this is gonna be throughout the entire home. Satin finished paint, this is a washable paint. I like washable paint. Just in case, you know, you got kid that he's an upcoming artist. <laughs> and then you got his and her sinks, framed mirrors, sconce, quartz in here with a quartz riser, oval undermounted sinks, satin nickel faucets, plenty of cabinetry, a nice wide reading room. Now for those of you just starting, I call the toilet room the reading room because that's where we do all of our reading. At least that's where I do reading. Now, obscure glass window that actually does open up, so if you want some fresh air. And then a massive shower. Take a look at the size of this shower. Operable window, staggered wall tile, two benches, two soap dishes, two shower heads. I mean, I would say this is at least a 10 foot by four foot. Very nice, and look at this. This is called fiddle sticking. And they do this, this takes a lot of talent, they do this by cutting pieces of this into slots and they make this radius with that so that way it's not a 90 degree angle, which isn't a bad thing, but I do love seeing this. Gorgeous way of putting into your round corners. Frameless glass door coming out. Now these folks do two by six construction. They also spray foam the decking of the roof, which I think is brilliant. Gives you a very good thermal break from the outside elements, which I think is important. 
Um, and we don't have, we're not known for really heavy or very extreme weather patterns here. In fact, most people move here because of the, the, the mild weather and mild temperatures. Little drop zone area, place to hang your coats, place to put your shoes, place to put your beanies. Now, they do have some boxes in here because they are actively building out here. And a lot of times when they're getting stuff in, they have it delivered to these. So I'm gonna give you a sneak peek at this. Just excuse the boxes. So very large three car garage. You got your maintenance deck over here. That's where your water heater is. You got, of course, got your drip system over here. Plenty of space for like a, a, you know, a tool chest or anything you might need inside the garage. Manhole, because this home does have a full pitched roof all the way from front to back and it's all shingled. And then Chamberlain MyQ garage door openers. I love seeing those. Now for my favorite part of this home, let's go downstairs. So as you're coming down here, you got this really nice wood railing. That's really nice to hold onto this as you're going downstairs. And it does have a wood panel up here as well. So you can put stuff up here. Just a really good way to accent it. It goes along with all the trim in the home. Sconce, all satin nickel colors. Very nice. And then this living room that you come into is even bigger than the one upstairs. Or I should say this is downstairs. That's really not upstairs. That's actually the main level. Look at the size of this. The lot is actually pretty good size too. The home site is probably about, oh, I'd say about maybe almost a quarter of an acre. It's got a very large backyard backed up to a park. You still have mountain views all the way across the back of this home. So even in downstairs or in the, on this bottom level, you have all the views you can possibly handle. And I'm gonna take a look out here real quick because this is really unique. Oh yeah. Desert landscaping with your faux grass, plenty of bushes, and those trees I was talking about earlier, I mean, those trees are only about three years old. Can you imagine in 10 years when those trees are very large, all the shade and all the contrast you'll get just from your backyard? Beautiful place. I can see like a trampoline and you know, kids' equipment. My kids would love this. Four recessed lights plus a fan, and you have another light over here coming down. And what's cool about you know seeing this, I saw the design, they have a light up there and a light switch down here. So you could turn on the light from upstairs or from downstairs, and I, I really like that. Thermostat upstairs, I saw a thermostat down here as well. You got plenty of light switches. And then coming into this hallway, laundry room. Of course, laundry room where all the kids are at, right? Laundry room here, again, electric hookup. Hot and cold, 110 plug-in, and of course the vent. And we'll start with the west side of the home over here, the west side bedrooms. You got two bedrooms here separated by a linen closet. And they match the floor trim with the door trim, and I really like that. Nice big windows. And these have screens, which is really nice. You open these up for some fresh air. You can actually smell that rain in Las Cruces, folks. We're known for our really gorgeous smells out here. It's very aromatic when you, you're out here after a rain. Anybody that's been to Las Cruces or the Southwest Desert, you know, you'll know what I mean. You know, rain here brings life. It's a little bit different than other places. I had a, a client that I built a home for recently, and she says, you know, Mike, I'm from Pennsylvania. Where we're at, rain brings problems, mold and issues and flooding. Out here, rain brings life. And I told her I'm gonna use that. So if you're watching, thank you. Walk-in closet down here, two shelves, two places to hang, fantastic. It's actually a nice little walk-in. You got your own little light switch there, nice door. And all the doors match with that paneling, that raised paneling, like the front door that we saw when we first started the video. Another one here, and you can actually see on the windowsill. So if you're out there shopping, wondering how thick the walls are, you can always look at the windowsill and judge it by that. Now I wouldn't judge it by one window because I've seen two by six in the back of a home and I've seen it go to a two by four as you get to the front of the home. Now, like I've told you all before, you have two switches in here. That means one of them is for a pre-wire for a fan and one of them is for the light. So if you ever do put a fan in one of these, it's already wired for it on its own circuit or its own switch. Plenty of plugins everywhere and a nice little closet. Kind of the same design, just not a walk-in on this one. 
Boy, this would be perfect for a big family. Or just someone that wants a lot of space. Downstairs bathroom, two sinks. You got your quartz countertops. You got a really nice, look at they did the, they actually did the bullnosing up here too with the fiddlestick tile. I love that. Put a soap dish, cast iron tub, toilet, all the hardware matching, frame mirrors, and the sconce. And then this is the fourth bedroom. This one seems to be probably about 11 by 11. Got a big window here, a view of the nice rock walls. <laughs> In a much larger closet. This one's wider, so you had a walk-in, a step-in, and then a really wide one here. And usually what you see is you don't see doors on these. That's why I love this design where you have actual doors and not sliding doors. I don't mind the sliding doors, but this is pretty cool to see. Very nice. Now, if you've ever been to a basement home or a walk-out basement, um, you're going to have what's called wet storage or cold storage. It's very good to store some things in here if you want to store, you know, anything that doesn't need to be in a warm area, this would probably fit the bill. And to build a basement in a home, you kind of have to have this. They almost consider this the same kind of square footage um, as like a garage, believe it or not. That's why you don't see a lot of these. These are very rare. I mean, they used to build these back in the 1990s and then they stopped for a long time. And then KT came out with their masterful planning and started designing some more. Fabulous. Beautiful design, KT. Great job. My hat's off to you. Well, folks, I think we'll go ahead and stop the video here. Thank you for joining me on this rainy day in Las Cruces. I wish you a wonderful day. And remember, if you have any questions about real estate, buying or selling in Las Cruces, give me a call today. Thank you so much.